Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good evening. We'll start by taking a look from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. And looks absolutely beautiful out there right now. No clouds in the sky. Certainly had those warmer temperatures today. We had that big cool down all week long. Friday was the coolest day. So great to see these high temperatures that we had this afternoon back into the low to mid 70s. So certainly warmer than we were yesterday. And the good news is, is that tomorrow is expected to be even warmer. Now it wasn't just us feeling that increase in heat across the state. We were back into the low to mid 70s in most places. And like I just said, tomorrow going up maybe another three to five degrees. Nothing extreme when it comes to temperatures, but certainly on the warm side, about five degrees above average for this time of the year. Now the reason for that, that transition from those very cool temperatures that we had throughout the week into these nice weekend conditions is that trough was what was cooling us down so much on Friday. And you can see that's now over Nevada, Arizona area. And over the next 24 hours, that's going to continue to move out. And we have just this nice little ridge over us tomorrow afternoon. So that's what's going to allow us to be a few degrees warmer tomorrow and some sunny skies once again that I know the entire coast was enjoying throughout the day today. Now, where the forecast starts to change and we go on a bit of a roller coaster ride with those temperatures is going into Monday afternoon. You see this trough just quickly builds back in and that's going to cool us down by possibly as much as 10 degrees. Now what I think is the bigger part of the story there though is if you look at these lines right here, the closer those lines are together, the faster your winds are going to be and that's about as close as we've seen them in months now and that's why on Monday, unfortunately, it's expected to be one of the biggest wind events that we have seen throughout this season. So if we look at Sunday, not not pretty normal winds going on there. It's early Monday morning off the coast, that red color there, that's where you're up to 30 to 40 mile per hour winds. And then you start to see those winds pick up in Northern California as well. Then throughout the day, the month, throughout the day Monday, those winds start to pick up and move down into our area as well, which is unfortunately creating a wind advisory. So just looking at the local area, you can see that really start to fill in. I think Monday afternoon is where we're going to have to keep a close eye on those winds because one, it will have some marine impacts, but two, and I think the bigger thing I'll be watching is the impact it could have on those critically dry fuels where about 90% of California is still in that extreme drought category. So that's what we're going to be watching moving forward, that wind advisory from 5 a.m. Monday to about 5 p.m. Tuesday. And we'll certainly have to keep an eye on that. But overall, looking at our forecast for tomorrow, don't worry about that wind event yet. Just enjoy the nice sunshine and warm temperatures that we will be having. Should be another beautiful day. Just looking at the forecast highs in the Santa Cruz Mountains, you can see mid-70s Santa Cruz back into the 70s as well. Like I said, most of these places transitioning to some sunshine in the afternoon. And warmest spot in the Salinas Valley looks to be King City back up to 80. That's about 15 degrees warmer than we were seeing on Friday when that cool down really happened. And then Monterey Peninsula, you had a great day today. Some sunshine, 70 degree temperatures, expecting that to continue for tomorrow. Just looking at the eight day forecast though, you can see that big cool down that we have on Monday getting back into the 60s. But I think the biggest thing I'll be watching moving forward is that possible wind event on Monday where there is the chance for some 30 to 50 mile per hour gusts.